Hey everybody, Miss Jennifer here, and we have a special art lesson for you this month because it is Black History Month. And I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite artists of all times. This gentleman's name is Jean-Michel Basquiat. His, um, he was born and raised in New York City. His parents were Haitian and Puerto Rican, and he was a genius. He worked on the streets of New York City, and he started out as a graffiti artist. This right here, these are cards I made for the kids here. And this is a painting that he made of a skull. This is the highest price painting ever sold by an American artist. $125 million. So there you go. Um, sadly, uh, he did not live very long. But he was so prolific, meaning he made so much artwork that um, he would drag uh, doors and walls and things off the streets just to paint on it. So take, let's take a, uh, a look at some of his pieces. Now, he did talk a lot about being African-American in his work. And he liked the idea of royalty, even though um, the people of this country were not treated that way. A lot of people came from African royalty. He also was hurt in it by a car when he was a little boy, hit by a car. And when he was in the hospital, he started drawing from Gray's Anatomy. So a lot of times you'll see bones and skulls and the insides of people. Um, you can see that he does have that street art style, and a lot of times he will use words. Samo was his tag that he put all over the cities. Here we have another bone. Everlast is a, a boxing brand, and we've got the crown again, and that crazy skull. So we are going to make a picture based off the work of Basquiat, and we're basically going to do this, which is called a bust. The head, the neck, the shoulders, boom. Easy as pie. And to make it look like Basquiat, we're going to give it that kind of skull-like face. Now, this is a picture of Andy Warhol and Basquiat together. He did meet Andy Warhol, and they ended up collaborating. So um, he was in the time in the 80s when Andy Warhol and pop art was very big, and street art was just starting to come out. Now, this is my favorite one. This one shows um, that he, you see how he painted it on these boards. And these would he would just drag out of the trash of the streets of New York and paint on them. And here we have this great skull guy. And we can see what is this? Yep, lungs, belly, bones. So on your um, figure, you're welcome to have x-ray vision. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, these are some of my examples that I made. Um, let's see, I do one with the kids at each location I go to. Now, this was my first one, so this would be like me. And then you see I have my heart shining through, and I wrote smile. Uh, but all of these are good. Here's one with lungs. Here's one with Samo. So you can write Samo on there if you want to. You can have a crown if you want to. And the big thing is if you want it to look like him, you can give it that kind of skull face. So um, you can make it big like this one, or you can make it with the body. It's really up to you. So let's begin, and I will um, attach these information onto the show notes for you if you'd like to print out a Basquiat card. And I encourage you to go look online, learn more about him. He's a fascinating artist, and like I said, one of my favorites. Okay, so here we go. Let's begin by getting my art card. Now today we're going to work with oil pastels. If you do not have oil pastels at home, grab some crayons. They won't work quite the same, but they're similar enough. So we want to take a light color oil pastel. So I'm going to take this yellow. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and draw lightly my head, neck, shoulders and maybe I want the hand to come up here like this and that's a good beginning now maybe I want to make it look more like a skull this way and the beauty of working with uh, oil pastels is I will blend this uh, light color into what I'm doing now if you uh, um, 
The next step is if you have brown skin, you can take your brown. If you have light skin, you can take a light. But I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, most of my students um, do have lovely brown skin, or at least darker than mine. And I will go ahead and do this just because that's generally how Bas Basquiat would do it. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to color in the whole head. Now you say, well, what about the eyes? What about the mouth? Well, I'm going to show you the beauty of working with oil pastels here. Now, if you're working with crowns, you might have to leave a space for where you're going to have your uh, eyes and mouth. And here I will draw the neck. And that's working out well. Now, if this is my hand and it's got skin color, I would have to I'll go ahead and color that in too. Now notice how we have filled the space right off the bat, right? And we do want to get rid of all this white if we can. Now just notice it. And we've got a little bit of time to work on this. So um, what we want to do is pick a color. So maybe the shirt. So I have a shirt on this one. So maybe I'm going to pick this orange for the shirt. And I'm going to go ahead and color it in all the way. So far, so good, right? Pretty easy. Now, the beauty of this is we can make it blend a little bit around the uh, other lines that we have. And don't worry if it looks messy. See how this is messy here? That's cool because that's his style. So we don't have to worry about trying to be all perfect like we do on a lot of our pieces. Now, I'm going to go in with, so it, since this is a hot color, I'm going to use a cool color for the background. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Now, this is super, super easy. But the main thing I want you to do is to, to get right up to the edge of the brown with the um, cool color so that you're not leaving a halo around the uh, object. So you get right up to it, even blend right over top of it. And that's really the key to uh, um, the, really working with the oil pastel is kind of like painting. But that's the key to painting. You don't want to leave a white halo around it. You want to go right and create that edge. Now, edge, I think we talked about before, is where two um, things meet. And I picked up some of that brown in there, and that's okay. Because I'll show you how if you want to lighten up, we, we, can, we can get to that in just a minute. Now, if you do want it to be uh, crystal clear blue, you can make it so by getting, making sure that you um, rub the color off on another piece of paper. So, woohoo, there we go. Now, what am I going to do next? Now, say I don't want this, uh, uh, let me get an arm over here because I don't have an arm. I'm going to put an arm coming out down here so it won't look so weird. And if you want to, I can uh, begin to hit this with a bone. I'm going to draw a bone inside his arm. And just little finger bones, hand bones, bones. Okay. Um, you can also, if you, don't, if you don't want it to be as dark as your brown, you can put some um, white over top of the whole thing. And blend now it's very easy to do I kind of like it dark because it really shows up but you can work back and forth with your colors till you get it to where you want it now I'm going to take this and I'm going to come in with that kind of square mouth now here's a cool trick you can scrape away the brown with your finger in the middle so that you can get a whiter white. Now if you have the crown and you left that space, that's fine. Now I'm going to do the eyes. Now sometimes he does the eyes, you know, like this shape. And clearly they're way too big. And let's go ahead and give it some hair. So maybe I'm going to give it a little bit of uh, black hair. And this is supposed to represent you, but, oh, now, um, I picked up the brown, but here's the thing. The black comes absolutely last. 
So the reason why is at any point here, you can um, smear this. And black smears very easily. So we do not do the black until the very end. And that's usually the case for painting as well. You don't want to have a whole lot of black. Now I'm going to sit down here real quick so I can look closely. And let me get a smaller one. What you want to do is find a corner that um, so that you can make the mark skinny. So I'm going to come right in. Now it should go on super easy because I have a nice thick layer of oil pastel here. And there you go. And then you draw a line in the middle. And then you draw some teeth. Boom. Basquiat. Here we are. Now I can go around these eyes. And I can add an eyeball. Wow. And now I'm going to go back to that hair I was working on earlier. And make it my own. Make it how I want it to be. Now, at any point, you can come in here and add more lines. Now, he, can make, he makes really rough lines so that's fine if you want to do rough lines and maybe I'm going to write same -o. just because I like it and um, it reminds me of you know imagine you're just a kid you kind of left your parents house because you want to go out and earn your living on the streets of New York and he did that's what's so amazing. And I really encourage you. There's a lot of great um, uh, documentaries. Uh, there's a really good one on PBS. And if you, if you, read, if you uh, listen to it, you'll learn a lot more about him. And you'll see a lot of his art. And basically, that's it. Here's a wonderful Basquiat-inspired piece. Now, I do have one more thing to show you, which is super cool. Um, if you have some Mod Podge, you want to grab it. If you don't have Mod Podge, that's okay. You can use, um, Mod Podge is just a, um, a sealant, but since I don't, um, you might not have it, you could actually use uh, Elmer's glue for this. You're going to take a brush and you're going to paint over your card. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we need to seal that oil pastel. We It will smear quite easily. Now sometimes you want to use that technique to smear and you can do this also for the crayon to lock it in so it won't smear and get all over your um, card holder if you have one. All right, so I know this kind of looks like, oh, she messed it all up. But what's going to happen is it's going to dry super clear. And I will show you here on this one I have. See? It's nice and shiny and cool, and it won't smear. So that's what it will dry to look like. I hope you really like this lesson. I hope you learned a lot about Basquiat and that you will learn more on your own. I'll see you next time. Bye.